Free comic book day is coming quickly, guys. We've got Heine New Nooligan Salk here, and he's going to tell us about what he's been doing and a special product. All right, Free Comic Book Day is May 6th this year, you guys. Mark it down. Savers are going to get in early. Uh, if you're not a saver, you can still come in at 9. We've got uh, big discounts in the shop. We've got 20,000 comics to give away. we got a wrestling ring. We've got cosplayers. we got food trucks. And, of course, we have, as always, our special guests. Uh, and this year, we have Nooligan, who you guys will know um, from you know such things as Union Street Choir. Uh, you've seen him at all the cons with his prints, uh, his art books. And uh, there's something special that he's got going on here uh, as well that we'll talk about. But uh, welcome back, New. It's uh, good to have Thanks you. Thanks for having me, Ben. Of course. Like, uh, <laughs> we, we pretend like, yeah, like we don't talk. This is like, this is it. I don't it. know you. We, yeah. you, uh, like, you had to pay me a lot to actually show up here. It's, it's good to have you down yeah, here, though. I mean, you, it's man. hard to get the man in front that. of a camera. Um, <laughs> you guys can see him at pretty much every con. I mean... I try. Up, I try to hit up a lot of uh, conventions around the, around the United States and stuff, so I try to go to a lot of them, you know? So. Okay, so I mean, you pretty much hit up all the big ones. You, you, they can find you at San Diego Comic-Con, you were at WonderCon last weekend. Yeah, Seattle, uh, New Seattle, York. Seattle, Portland. Yeah, Portland. Boston. Boston. Yeah. New York. I mean, that, that's crazy. So whether you're here in Sacramento or here in the United States, you will have a chance to find them at a con. And I'm, I'm not joking when I say your presentation at the con is out of this world you guys will notice it because he stands out he's got this great presentation this really unique artwork that isn't quite like anybody else's and you you like to do a lot of your own things yeah yeah so i try to kind of um just throw my i, I feel like presentation is one of the more important things when you're doing a convention or any kind of presentation of your art because it's a kind of your presentation lends itself into your artwork and you have to care about both of them in order to kind of work it to work so i think it's really important that you I appreciate it. Yeah, that. of course. <laughs> and um, so, well, you'll be able to see some of his artwork here at Free Comic Book Day or on the local shelf. Uh, check out Union Street Choir. But uh, what are some of your, like, inspirations when you're sitting down to draw? Uh, you know, like, like I think uh, most people know I'm, uh, it's a very, like, Americana aesthetic where I kind of um, learned all my stuff back from the, like, 1930s, early, early Americana to the 50s, and then try to put that twist on it to more modern day and kind of put them together. Kind of a blend yeah, between the totally. two, and it's and it's a mixture of like classic uh, American comics mixed in with a lot of old American animation, like early like Popeye, Fleischer Studio stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, Felix the Cat, and of course Mickey Mouse, and, and then you kind of move that into what uh, the, the my what I know about American comics, and I kind of just fuse them together. So that's what I have with the the style I kind of work with is based off of that. You know. Okay, and uh, the setup. Uh, Clearly shows that you you do everything from you'll do prints of things like X Men, uh, yeah, Batman, yeah, yeah. But you do a lot of things that are not typical, not just a, a bunch yeah. I of try to do like a, yeah. I do a lot of uh, I try to do some movie stuff and then uh, TV show stuff and then I do a lot of my own stuff. But it's just kind of it's just very kind of uh, variations of um, very Americana stuff like. Uh, and I, and I like the Chuck Taylors, which everybody they, knows. They're pretty so. much on everything. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I'm a big fan, which is they're 100 years old this year. Really? They're, they started in 1917. So That's pretty now, impressive. In fact, yeah. everybody in here right now is wearing Chuck. <laughs> uh, oddly enough. I know. Wasn't even, and we were even trying to make that a thing. No, it's yeah. just 100 yeah. years. Uh, that's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, uh, totally. Um, and so, I mean, and you have a lot of influences that we'll see in your artwork um, as you're talking about these kind of things. Like you have a, a great barber shop print. yeah yeah those are like some of my older ones and like you know recently i've been kind of getting more into the pop culture thing because that's what people want and at these conventions i'm trying to go back and start doing more stuff like that like currently i started like a little kind of apparel line on my um, website which is called slingshots and heartbreaks based off of all my art books yeah and it's more of a design design like personal design elements of, for apparel and stuff that is more lends to what i what i like to do and and that's slingshots and Heartbreak, but it's off of and my. It's off of uh, newligan.com. Newligan.com, you can find it all there. Um, so they can, if they wanted to, they could go there and get prints. You get prints, and then these are more like in the slingshots and heartbreak brand is more based off of trying to do something that is just more me and not have nothing to do with pop culture. Gotcha. And then that, so that's like a whole another branch of what I'm doing, just kind of move that and make it separate from like uh, from everything else. And then there's prints on. There's like a print on there, and there's um, some T-shirts and some uh, coffee mugs. 
So check out newligan.com because you'll get <clears> all the you know the, the stuff you want, the pop culture. Then go over to uh, follow the link so you can see some of New's original stuff, some of the stuff that really comes from his heart. Uh, much like Union Street Choir. Mm. You guys have probably heard me talk about this before. Uh, Union Street Choir is a local comic book drawn and uh, co-written by Newligan uh, over here. It's on the shelf. There's three issues out. He's working on the fourth one. You can go to bootlegpub.com to find that and uh, purchase copies or come on down to the shop. Now, we're directing you all over the web, but we want you here on Free Comics Book Day <laughs> because you won't get to meet him otherwise. Yeah. You can come down, you can buy it, you can get him to sign it. Will you be taking commissions on that day or, uh, or are you open for commissions? Yeah, I'll, I'll be open. Right? The thing is, I take a few a day. Um, if somebody wanted something prior, it's probably better to hit me up prior to the Free Comic Book Day and they can just pick it up so I can do it ahead of time. So. There you go, guys. If you want a commission from New Ligan, you don't even have to wait. You can hit him up, tell him what you want, Pick it up here on Free Comic Book Day. Boom. Done. You got your art. You don't have to wait at all. So let's get into what we've been hinting at. There's something special you guys have seen right back here. You might have seen some of the posts he's done or some of the posts I've done. DC Comics Collectibles came to Newligan and wanted to make something off of his art style. And, uh, well, why don't you tell them what happened? Uh, you know, um, back in the you know at these comic conventions, I used to have a Joker Harley Quinn piece that was similar to what this looks like. Because um, it was two it small was two, ones that were it was separate. two separate prints, and um, uh, so when I put and I uh, they came by in uh, San Diego and picked the piece up, and then they contacted me later on, asking if we wanted if they if we wanted to make bookends out of it, which is uh, and of course I had redesigned it and changed some stuff up again, and then um, but yeah, the the whole and when it the whole end result was I was making these bookends and they'll be out in October and yeah super excited about it you know I never would expect anything like that to happen you know no kind of not just, not like yeah. this and yeah, I, I wonder like, if the, the two pieces <clears throat> being separate is what made them think I think that's what kind of gave them the idea because I kind of I, I you know I create the artwork for um, fans to kind of hang up and have in their homes and like and I make art for people to hang it's not just yeah. something to like uh, collect it's more just something to kind of and that's what I designed things for. And then they, I think they came up with the idea based on the print being split in general. And then, um, but yeah, man, they, they, I just came across it. I, uh, it's a matter of luck and a matter of just being at shows and, you know, being at one of the biggest shows in the world, which is San Diego. And, and putting yourself at, out there. Putting yourself mm -hmm. out there. And, I, and then they just approached me. And, like, a lot of people, a lot of people have been asking me, like, how did you get that done? How did they make, how did, how did you, how did you make them do that? I was like. I don't think you can make DC do it. No, I don't think you can make DC. <laughs> so, uh, but it's 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 so uh, it's more just a matter of like like just being out there and showing like your version of um, something. Uh, and and then, look what look what happened. I mean, right. this is great. It was a long process. I mean, you re redesigned it. Yeah. But them being DC, I mean, any big company with money and you know want to get yeah. it perfect. Yeah. Did you have to do a lot of redesigns? Yeah. Um. You know, uh, we I had to do a lot of different poses. So we did. We went from what I originally had because I originally had Harley like kind of on his um, shoulder looking up at him, and I had Joker more looking like off into the sky mm -hmm. and stuff. And then um, and I also had him smoking, which in my old print, which is something we took out of the. <laughs> I'm sure that went out. So, right but away. yeah, so we had um, definitely a. Uh, Different, I went through different variations. Batman kind of stayed just how he is. So I had to do different variations of both of them until we found the perfect pair that kind of matched them up together. And um, and yeah, and then we just turned out doing, great. Yeah, it totally. And the sculptor um, did a great job of uh, you know doing my my version of my artwork, which is you know always a concern to see things 3D if it's going to work. But that's true. Really works. So no, it works really well. Yeah. There's also a, a hidden little uh, Easter egg in there. I won't tell them what it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll wait and see if you guys uh, can find it. Now, Newligan, for those of you who are watching live right now, will be in the shop tomorrow, Wednesday, New Comic Book Day, when we open at nine uh, till well, till he gets tired. Yeah. And he, we will be. He'll have his stuff down here. You can come check it out. We will also be taking pre-orders for this. This is not out yet. It's, <clears throat> it's just in this month's previews, which means. It has to be placed by the end of the month, the order. So if you pre-order, we're doing a special. It's normally $250. There's only 5,000 of these things available. You know, 5,000 may seem like a big number until you consider they're going worldwide. If you pre-order, we're going to give it to you for $199. So it's 50 bucks off. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's 20% savings. Um, how can you not see him here tomorrow? Contact um, me if you can't make it. Make sure you get your pre-order in before the end of the month to make sure that we can guarantee. And you also, a like any of those that actually do take pre-orders here at Ben Shop, I'll, um, when they are released, they'll come down and do a signing, and we'll also have um, 
do some little sketches for you that uh, pre-ordered yeah. it here. So, some, um, some extra incentive. Uh, you get some original artwork along with it and a huge saving. So how can you guys not? So take a peek at it. Um, and we'll have it at the shop for the next few days. Yeah, we'll have it afterwards. We'll, we'll put it up and display it so you can take a peek at it. Because uh, I know you're going to want to look at it. And it looks fantastic. It turned out really good. Of course, you can see Newligan here tomorrow. Or you can see him on Free Comic Book Day, May 6th, guys. Mark the calendar. There's so much going on. I don't want you to miss out. Every year gets bigger and bigger, but every year we learn to handle it even better. So it's going to be a great day. Can't wait to see you guys. And thank you for coming down, Thanks sir. Thanks for having it was nice me, to meet sir. You. you too. Yeah, good to meet you. This is a really uh, cool shop. Thank you. Thank you. I enjoy it. I like it. Uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you on Free <laughs> Comic Book Day, and have a great day.